We present planoxyl, a planoptic volume element that represents radiance fields without neural networks. Planoxyls achieve similar performance as NERF and can represent both bounded and unbounded scenes. Because there are no neural networks, planoxyls optimize much faster than NERFs. Here is the side-by-side -side convergence of NERF and planoxyls on a single Titan RTX GPU. As you can see, even after just a few seconds, planoxyls capture much of the geometry and appearance. For all scenes, planoxyls achieve nerf quality with a speed up of two orders of magnitude. What takes 10 minutes of planoxyl optimization takes a day for nerf. Like NERF, our planoxyl model is optimized using calibrated images of a scene. To render a pixel, we intersect its ray with the voxels in our model, each of which stores opacity and spherical harmonic coefficients. We evaluate the planoptic function at regular intervals along the ray, using trilinear interpolation of the neighboring voxel coefficients. Finally, the ray color is determined by combining these sample values according to a volume rendering formula. We optimize our planoxyl model using gradients computed on mini batches of training rays. We prune away empty voxels to produce a sparse representation, and subdivide non-empty voxels to achieve high resolution. Our results show that the key component in NERF is the differentiable volumetric rendering, not the neural network. In addition, we find that trilinear interpolation is key to achieve high resolution and better convergence. Regularizing the space is also important, particularly when the number of observations is low. Please see the paper for more details. Finally, we visualize the results of our converged planoxyl models on bounded scenes, forward-facing scenes, and 360-degree scenes, respectively. Please refer to the paper for quantitative results and additional details.